Hey guys, what's up? It's JLAC and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out a pretty cool new product that I got and I wanted to test it out on camera because it's super different and I've never seen anything like it before. So I wanted to test it out on camera and see how it works and everything. So the product that you probably saw in the thumbnail is this uh, Roller Glow Highlighter by the new brand that's in Sephora. I, I believe it's called, pronounced Kaja. Um, but yeah, so this is the highlighter. Let's just like jump right into it. So this is what the packaging looks like. So it's uh, this in this like pink little box and the shade I got is Cosmic Laundry, which is a first shade. And then you open it up like this and then you see uh, that there's the little paintbrush roller right here. And then uh, you it opens like a door this way. And then inside here is the highlighter. And I think everything is looking a little bright because of the lights right here, but uh, sorry about that. But yeah, so this is what the packaging of everything looks like. And then also inside the box, you get another like extra roller. So when you've like used up the first one, you have an extra one. So that's pretty cute. Um, and so I got this product from Influencer, and so I got it in this box right here. They sent it to me like this, and the product was inside. And so really quickly, if you don't know what Influencer is, I've mentioned it one time before, because uh, I know I'll probably get questions on, oh, what is that? But um, it's basically this site online that you can, like anyone can sign up for it. You don't need a YouTube channel to sign up for it. But um, yeah, basically you sign up, you link your social medias, and you take surveys on the things that you like, and and what your skin type is and other things that you would want to try and so sometimes they'll send you something to try out and then all you have to do is try out the product and then review it um, online and that's pretty much it you just review what your opinion is whether you liked it didn't like it what you didn't like about it or what you did like about it and so on and so forth so yeah this isn't sponsored or anything by any means but I just wanted to explain really quickly what influencer is just in case you're wondering so yeah this is what I got this time from them and it's pretty cool and um, I've seen this before online on Instagram and stuff and I haven't really heard um, if it works or not so I thought this would be a good opportunity to try this on camera and see how it works because it is pretty interesting and so yeah let's just get into it I have my whole face done obviously except for highlighter so we'll try that out and so first let me just swatch the highlighter shade for you guys and so the highlighter inside, it isn't a powder highlighter, it's a cream highlighter. So when you put your finger through it, it's like creamy. And so this highlighter shade is like a, um, a pink uh, highlighter. So it's pink gold champagne highlighter. So let me put it right here. And so I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is what the highlighter looks like. But yeah, in person, it's like a pink champagne highlighter. So it has flex of pink in it and yeah super cool so let's try it out with the little roller sponge and let's see how it works so I'm just gonna take this and roll it it's super cute idea because it feels like you're about to like paint your house or something and it, you get those vibes but I'm just gonna go through it a couple times and then let's see Um, do you guys see, so it doesn't really come off all that much, so I'll use this hand and I'm going to roll this like a couple times on here and then do it on my hand and it's really subtle when you do it with this paintbrush thing, it's like super subtle. You can almost not even see it. So I, I have a feeling that this highlighter maybe is just for more of like a, a glisten kind of a, a thing. You know what I mean? So, um, cause yeah, right now, like, yeah, I can see it on my face, but I don't like, cause this is so, this is like pretty wide. So this whole thing is going on on my face right here. And you know how a highlighter usually just put like right here 
kind of in this area. So this is pretty large, but I guess since it is more subtle and just kind of like a glisten, um, it's okay that it's at large. But let me um, go through it again. And I do it like quite a few times. And then let's put it on again. Okay, so yeah, I can definitely see it. Um, definitely I can see it on my face. Can you guys see it? Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can definitely see it and I can definitely see the pink on my face uh, for sure. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's cute or whatever. It's not like mind blowing highlight or anything. Um, it's yeah super super subtle it's more of yeah like a glisten like i was saying before so let's do it on this side okay yeah so i mean i can see it obviously it's like there but it's super uh super subtle so yeah i mean i can definitely see it and i can see the pink in it um but let me do it down my nose. Mm. Not really much on my nose. Show it didn't show up all that much. Um, okay, well that was really quick. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty quick application. I mean obviously it's just highlighter. Um, but so let me give you guys what I think about this highlighter. So I forgot to mention, but this, uh, roller highlighter is almost $30. I think it's like $28 at Sephora or something like that. Do I think it's worth the price? Absolutely not. Absolutely not worth the price. Um, is it cool? Yeah, of course. Is it, um, you know, different? Yeah, definitely different. But is it worth like $28? No, not at all. Because I think I think Becca highlighters are like $28. And other highlighters, um, you know, highlight highlighters from Sephora are generally in the, the 20 to uh, reaching 30 range. And I this is $28, and I don't think it's really worth $28 because um it's it's really subtle, which is fine, but I think the application of it with the little brush is not, it, although it is really cool and it, it, it feels cool, it's not really um, that realistic, I guess, because it gives you too much of like a wide highlight versus you kind of just want the highlight to be right here beaming. And so with the brush, it's really wide. And so I don't really like that about it. Um, and so, yeah, and then also, uh, shade wise so this is again shade number one in cosmic laundry and it's kind of a pink champagne shade um, i'm not too crazy about this shade because i i don't really use pink highlighters um ever and so not crazy about the shade uh, i think i mean if you put this like over the blush area if you like kind of a glowing blush then you might want to try and put this on your cheeks and i think that would look cute and then since it is wider on the cheeks, I think it would work out well. Um, but yeah, otherwise, the color isn't that great for me because it's just not my preference. The When I put this highlighter on, what I think of is when you're going to like, when you're going to like a festival or something or a rave and, or you know, when you're just dressing up really loud and vibrantly, I could definitely see something like this in this color being really nice for some, some occasion like that because for occasions like that, you just put highlighter on crazy, right? So, and put it everywhere. So I think for that, it would be cool. And this color, since it's pink, is cool. But for like an everyday, um, normal kind of a thing, I don't think it's all that cool. I don't think it's all that realistic uh, because it does kind of just uh, get everywhere. And of course you could put a highlighter on top of this, but um, yeah, I just think if this was not as expensive as it is, then maybe it would be worth it because it wouldn't be as expensive, but you still get to try out this new technique and try out this new new product. But since it's reaching $30 and it doesn't really do that great of a job, I just don't feel comfortable saying that, oh my god, yeah, this is great for $30 because I don't think it is. Um, is It's really cool, I'll give it that, and it's really different, but definitely not worth $30. And um, 
yeah, not not really that that great of a highlighter and application, not really that great. But yeah, with that being said, this is what I, my first impression of the Kaja Roller Glow. And yeah, let me know down below if you've tried this out, if you're considering getting it, uh, what your first thoughts were when you saw this online. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you liked today's video and hit the thumbs up button. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, 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 hey,